those human beings in your market are going to buy or sell something at some point. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. I'm a little different with how I, you know, operate and build my business. A lot of coaches are, um, you know, number one, they charge. So that's a lot, that's complete opposite right there. And secondly, a lot of the strategies out there are more geared towards, you know, trying to get a deal done and trying to figure out if someone wants to sell or wants to buy. And I'm actually the quite opposite of that. I just, I don't want to know what they don't want to do. I don't want to know if they, you know, <laughs> necessarily don't want to buy or sell right now. I just want to know what I can do to help them, right? And so I just want to build that relationship because the fact is that those human beings in your market are going to buy or sell something at some point, right? So that's what we need to understand is that closings happen every day. If you look through the um, entire pandemic, just pull your MLS up and go day by day and look at how many new listings, pendings, and closings happened every single day in your market. Um, you know, it's natural for the market to fluctuate. You know, you're gonna have less transactions here or there, less new listings, less pendings, more listings, more pendings, more closing deals. It's gonna fluctuate, it's gonna go up and down. That is completely natural. Um, the trick is, is to realize that it never goes to zero and the other trick is, is to not freak out when there is a, a huge shift and there's a huge shock in the market like we just had. Um, you know, it's a scary moment when something happens nobody was expecting and the economy shuts down. Um, but the, the trick is, is to keep calm during those moments and realize, you know, the, the virus may be killing a small fraction of people, but it's not, you know, demolishing real estate. I <laughs> think buildings are still there. Houses are still being built. People are still buying and selling. Um, and I know right now, since, I don't know, maybe since around May 1st or so, there's been a nice surge in the market too. I'm sure you guys have witnessed that and are experiencing that. You know, it's incredible. Um, you know, hey, what do I think? I think we're gonna end up with a really nice year, a nice consistent year. Um, there may be a few scary moments. We may have some more scary moments. Um, you know, a lot of people are trying to debate with all the forbearances might lead to foreclosures. I don't think so. I think the banks are going to work with all those people long term. And, uh, you know, unemployment, you know, all time highs going to stay up in double digits for the longest ever and stuff like that. Scary stuff. You know, earnings of companies that's got to affect the real estate market. The thing is, guys, is it doesn't matter. Right. What's really cool about the market, okay, is that it's 100% set up for every single agent to win big. Right. It's set up. And the, the reason it's set up is because of a couple of things. One, business is 100% unlimited for every agent. You can't do all the deals that are available to just you. Okay. And when I think of market share and I think of business, I think how many relationships can I you know, create and maintain. I don't think about how many listings I have or how many closings I did this year compared to the rest of the market. I think about the market in terms of population, let's just say, you know, population of Nashville. Okay, boom. Can you talk to every single one of those people and see what you can do to help them? Never in a million years. So you can work 24 hours a day, seven days a week and never even scratch the surface, right? So it's quite incredible. The second thing is, is that as the market ebb and flows, the price will adjust to your benefit. Like if something really bad happens, the price adjusts so that buyers continue to buy. Like it's a supply and demand thing. The price will adjust so that transactions continue to happen. What does that tell you? Transactions continue to happen. So I want you to know that you're in a really super secure industry. Um, technology has no chance at this point of taking us over. It's only enhancing our abilities. You know, technology has dramatically increased the speed and the time that you can, you can see success. I have a guy in my coaching program that did a hundred deals in his first year. I've been doing a hundred deals a year since 2014 as a single agent. I'm still on track to do that this year, even with everything going on. But, and it, but it took me 12 years or so to hit that hundred deals 
Of course, I went through the crash and lost everything. But this guy did it in the first year. Why? Because he listened to exactly what I said and he understood the, the, my little theory on compressing time with technology, using today's technology to compress time that took me to do things when I first started, when we didn't have the technology that we have today. It's quite incredible. Thank you.